You've got really, really short range, and my fingy hurts from hitting the button so much. You're fast. How do you use it? It's all there in the name. It's not called the ink b mosey. It's not called the ink b saunter. It's called the ink brush. You gotta rush in. Use your speed to get within range, then hit the trigger as fast as possible until they're dead. That's pretty much it. Nobody actually knows how many hits it takes to get a kill, so just spam ZR as fast as possible like you're Sonic doing lines until you've unalived them. But they're shooting at me. You're fast! Brush around unpredictably to dodge their shots like I'm dodging a regular upload schedule. You know what? Here's a haiku I calligraphized for y'all for the optimal ink brush strategy. With the brush, you flank. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. Uh... Flank, 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 flank. In the first three ranked modes, you want to mostly ignore objective and go for dumb flanks. Be the mosquito getting all up in their outdoor socially distanced picnic date. Sneak up behind them so it's hard for them to flee. If you fail 99 times but get success one time, it was all worth it, right? But in Clam Blitz, it's the opposite. Focus on objective, run around collecting clams like a Rhode Island based marine biologist and get some sick dunks. This mode was basically designed in a lab specifically for the ink brush. The original ink brush, also known as the good one, has Splat Bomb, the best sub weapon, which lets you attack outside of your chode length pee pee poo poo range to do some damage and get you some free kills. And with Splashdown, you can, uh, well, you can do that. With the ink brush baguette, ha <laughs> ha! Your sub weapon is, uh, you don't, you don't have a sub weapon actually, but you do have baller, which will aid you on your quest to go places you shouldn't be. Like you're a Facebook mom trying to overthrow the government. Uh, I mean. The bleach proof permanent ink brush with sprinkler going, you're the fastest ink armor charge in the entire game, I'm pretty sure. Now, here's some ink brush tips from pro ink brusher Koromora. As you all know, her and I have been totally legitly feuding these past couple weeks, but we decided to bury the hatchet, and as a showing of good faith, she even offered to throw in some pro ink brush Splatoon 2 tips. So let's hear it, Cora. You know what's so good about the world of Animal Crossing? It is so easy to make money. Why can't this be real life? Why can't we go pick some fruit and sell it and make bank? Even if we assume the bells are equal to yen, which means we're selling non-native fruit for five bucks a pop, imagine going to your grocery store and selling the cashier an apple for five dollars. Real live apple trees can have anywhere from 80 to 150 apples on them, so you're making $750 per tree. Now just imagine turnips on a large spike week. One pocket full is 4,000 turnips. If your cashier feels like buying them for the max of $6.60, that is $26,400 in profit from one pocket. Why aren't we turnip farmers in real life? We've all clearly chosen the wrong career paths. Go to school for farming. I think that's the answer here. Thank you, Koromora, for those ink brush tips. I'm so glad I can trust you to deliver that excellent Splatoon 2 advice. Now here's some more hot Okami action.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to use your mouse to paint over that subscribe button. Based on the upload date and content, this was more of a hee hee ha ha jokey video. But if you're an actual ink brush main, leave some real tips in the comments below. And I'm going back to play more Monster Hunter. That's it. Video's over.